So today I'll be showing you how to copy or how to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone directly to an external hard drive. So this is very simple, just follow along. So the first thing you need to do is connect the hard drive to the iPhone. Now, depending on what iPhone you have, the connection process might be slightly different. Now, for me, I have the iPhone 16 with a Type-C port, okay? So for me, it's gonna be very simple. All I need is an adapter. I'm going to need this full-size USB adapter to Type-C connector. Of course, if you're using a modern SSD with a Type-C connector, I, can, I could have just connected directly. But since I have this old school uh, USB-A hard drive, I'll connect it to the adapter and then the adapter to the iPhone and I'll be good to go. Now, if you have an older iPhone with a lightning port, then you can use a lightning adapter like this one. You can see this one has a lightning uh, connector here and then a full size USB port where you can plug in this hard drive like this. And once it's connected, you can now go ahead and connect to the to the iPhone. So depending on what iPhone you have and what type of hard drive you have, the connection process might be slightly different, okay? So for me, it's very simple. Let me go ahead and connect. That's it. I'm now connected. Uh, I've successfully connected my hard drive to the iPhone. Now, to confirm the connection was successful, what you need to do is go to the Files app. So I'm just gonna go into Files. So this app, which is in every iPhone, so open Files and tap on the Browse icon in the bottom right corner and keep tapping on it until you get to this homepage. Now on the homepage, you can tell if you have an external drive connected. So as you can see, for me, I have Untitled and Untitled. So I have, it seems I have two devices connected and that's because my particular hard drive has two separate partitions. So both of them are recognized and I can access any of the partitions like that. So this is one of the partitions. And then if I go back, I can access the other partition. But this is just my hard drive. For most people, you won't have partitions on your hard drive. It's just going to be one drive, okay? Anyway, so once you identify uh, once you open your hard drive, the easiest thing to do is to create a folder. So I'm just gonna long press an empty space and make sure the hard drive does not have any uh, read or write locks. So for instance, this particular partition has, so I'm just gonna go into the other partition and try to create a folder here. So you can either long press an empty space or you can tap on the three dots in the top right corner and then select new folder. So let's go ahead and create a new folder. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call this um, road trip. Okay, all right. So that's going to be the name of my folder and I can tap on done and Here's my folder right here. So that's where I intend to copy or to transfer the photos and videos to. So you can now exit out of there and then go to the photos app or the gallery of your iPhone. Now in the gallery, just tap on select at the top there and then you can go and select all the photos and videos that you want to transfer to your hard drive. Okay, so I'm just gonna select those and then tap on the share button in the bottom left corner and on the share menu, you want to look for the option save to files. So tap on that. That's going to open the files up. So make sure you go back until you, you get to the home page and then select the hard drive. So I'm just going to select that partition. I'm going to look for my folder just to keep things neat. Here it is. I'll open it and then now I'll tap on save in the top right corner. And as you can see, my photos and videos are being transferred to the hard drive. Now they're not being moved, they're actually being copied. So after copying, you can always go back to the Photos app and delete them from there in case you no longer want them on your phone. So that is basically how to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone directly to an external hard drive. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, possibly also subscribe for more tips. If you have any comments or questions, Feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you 
or i will talk to you in the next one good luck